Good morning again. Uh, so we've got the CAD Swiss and um, again, just a bit of a trade breakdown as to, um, you know, uh, uh, higher time frame and lower time frame um, uh, analysis and why potentially you may want to get uh, long or short. This isn't a, you know, a trade recommendation. Um, uh, and I'm not a financial advisor just to you know, reiterate that. So here's just my analysis on, on this. So um, from a um, sentiment perspective and uh, fundamental analysis perspective, the, we're in a risk off environment still. Swiss franc should potentially and typically does um, do well in a risk off environment but again sentiment can change and we could get some positive sentiment around the coronavirus uh, nobody knows when the trade you know um, or when the uh, sentiment will change or if it you know um, uh, or if it will change if you know what I mean but currently this is what we're in and if it changes then we basically change the uh, uh, the trade direction but right now um, we've got a decent setup on the uh, Canadian dollar Swiss franc. So first things first, where are we um, on a higher time frame? So we've got a decent supply zone here. Supply has taken out a bit of a level of demand. So there was demand here. Why was that? So we had a bit of demand. Where's my demand zone? Here we are. And we had another little bit of demand right there as well. So let's just break this down a little bit. Where you've got higher highs and higher lows. So you've got to move there, pull back, move there, pull back. And then we don't really make a major high until probably there. So you can start to see there. And even that starts to then become a bit of a move down and then a move up, yeah? So higher highs, higher lows, swings, right there, right there. And we've kind of touched this demand zone. So I would probably say as it touched the demand zone, we can kind of take out definitely this one here and this one here. So decent level of supply coming into the market. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, you know, pretty much the rest of the analysis from horizontal um, uh, resistance and, um, and support and resistance dynamic. Let's go through some of these. So let's go through some of the, uh, we haven't got any kind of round or half number confluences in that area, unfortunately. We do have, sorry, um, oh, no, we didn't. Sorry, I thought we did. Um, I thought we had the, the moving average here. No moving average, dynamic resistance. And then we've got, um, depending on if prices do come up to here, we could get some, um, some RSI extreme, but we'll see. Um, but from a location perspective, I think it's actually all right. Uh, and then what you want to do is come down into the lower time frame and see if there is a potential trade and there is um, a bit of a, uh, a bit of a com more of a complex one than the usual. So let me break this down. So first things first, uh, let's, see, let's get rid of these, right? So what you had was a bit of a stop hunt So you had a bit of a stop hunt where traders would have been looking to the left and you get nice breakout, pullback, looks like it's going higher and then it fails and comes back within this zone here. Yeah. So um, we've got definitely got traders who are looking to get long up top. Uh, so this is, again, they've been captured in their positions here and then what we get is a bit of a move up so if you look to the left what you'll see is there's another level where prices are reacting from around here another support and resistance zone not the most accurate one but it's there anyway, you can see where there's resistance, resistance traders are probably just getting in early because of the fact that, you know, where prices, you know, they're more driven by price and they don't want to really miss out on this trade. So um, it's definitely there, you can see it there. So some traders got in here and some traders got in probably on maybe like a deeper pullback. If you look at where, maybe some sort of Fibonacci 
Let's see if there's a, a fib retracement. Uh, nah, no real fib retracement confluence. Maybe the 50% fair value if they wanted to do that. But there's a level there anyway. You can see where it's starting to work. So that definitely would drawn in traders. Right? Then it starts to fail them again. But in fact, it does come down to a level right and a more accurate level now so it's literally if you draw that across get the line you can now start to see where everything joins so that is very accurate level 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 so every, there's 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 touches now of that um 0 0.6945 yeah so then price starts to react starts to react from this so the early traders are probably thinking to themselves, oh, okay, so now it's it's a bit more accurate and we're getting some nice pin bars and price action. Okay, so it's just basically like a deeper pullback as we were talking about, maybe from here to here. You know, oh, now that's the 50%, brilliant. Or if traders are going from here to here, it's definitely pinged off that 32. Yeah, that 32%, 38.2%. Um, uh, um, Fibonacci very very nice very very accurate all the Fibonacci traders are probably in in there actually in fact no it would have been there so there yeah still accurate enough all right but the price action is what would have drawn them in it definitely would have drawn them in around here and then what you get is kind of like a build-up I guess of stop losses below that level because that's still an obvious level one two three and then it's starting to look it works and look at that as well that that will definitely draw in traders that definitely get traders in that price action right there yeah it's a nice engulfing candle engulfs all the candles before it brilliant getting so the stop losses now there and then it takes them all out there it is the failure of that and then as it continues to go lower a bit yeah so we're up here now these guys are definitely in a lot of pain so everyone up top here uh, where am I everybody up top there has been caught in their positions yeah Fibonacci traders you know everyone is is caught so now it's a case of this being pain yeah pain there because traders who move and remove their stop losses don't trade with stop losses yeah they're going through a lot of pain at the moment, a lot of pain. And as prices start to come back up, this is some pain relief. Yeah. So from a pain perspective, from a relief perspective, where do you think these traders are going to potentially want to get out here? Relief for a small loss. Yeah. For the, for their original loss, yeah, somewhere around here. And if they went, if they bought, they press bought buy there, then they have to sell to exit. These guys, whoever bought down here, yeah, whoever bought down here, where do you think they're going to start to take profit? Here, take profit if they, if you buy here, is a sell. And obviously, we've got a level of support and resistance. Yeah, where traders who trade just random levels of support and resistance, support, and go back a bit, so support, support, resistance, and they're gonna be entering potentially here. And if they're entering short, then they have to sell. So we should potentially somewhere within this area have more supply orders. And then we're looking for any kind of sell trades around here. So all this area, because remember, these are, these are gonna be the first guys that can probably get out of their trade. These guys up top, 
yeah, these guys up top may also want to get out if prices can come up a bit higher. None of us know, you know, exactly where the turning point is, yeah. But what we do know is that um, we understand where traders are caught, we're trading against them, and we're using their pain, you know, and the supply and demand equation. Because why is there going to be more demand here? Why would there be more demand at a high? The only reason why you would get more demand at a high is if overall we're in a risk, um, you know, maybe come into a risk on scenario where the Canadian dollar tends to do well in a risk on environment. The Swiss franc doesn't do well in a risk on environment. At the moment with the coronavirus still um, raging on, Swiss franc should be the one to, uh, to buy, meaning that we have to get short around here so from a uh, um, a trade perspective, yeah, we, not only do we have the fundamentals currently on our side, fundamentals and, and, and risk sentiment can change day to day at the moment, depending on obviously the uh, the deaths, death toll, and the, the 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 amount of contractions and the flattening of the uh, of uh, those uh, statistical curves. But um, this is how really if if if. If risk is still on, uh, sorry, if risk is still off, and prices are grinding higher, then this potentially is where there is a really, really, really nice uh, trade setup. And again, it's only one trade setup in the next, you know, tens of thousands that you're going to take over your life. So regardless of whether it wins or loses, that's not really the issue on a single trade. What we're looking for is understanding. The main thing is seeing the pattern play out. You know, this is this is an A1 trade, um, and you can pretty much see, you know, the mechanics behind why we should be potentially getting short. Why well, that's a higher probability trade, high quality trade, I should say, um, over um, let's say for just someone who's just randomly taking support and resistance zones. We understand what's going on, you know, to a much deeper level when it comes to not only you know stop hunting, you know, capture pain relief. Uh, from a technical analysis perspective and also the trading psychology of others yeah because this is war at the end of the day it is war this is what um you know uh, money's not made it's taken right so i'm trying to take these guys money right who have been caught in their positions and uh, you know take advantage of that anyway all right guys take care and i will speak to you soon so if what I'm saying resonates with you, why not check out trading180.com? There is a selection process to trade my supply and demand zone for X strategy. I'm only looking to work with uh, individuals with the right mindset, you know, who are hardworking as well. So um, check that out and access really for less than one pound a day. This Some of the strategies in here are not for beginners. So if you don't know what supply and demand is, please check out all of my supply and demand videos. I have hundreds of videos on YouTube, so you can check that out first. Um, guys, take care and until the next video, have a good one.